Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you this peacock inspired uh, party makeup look and I loved the way how it turned out. I think this look is perfect for any night out and if you're wearing any blue or green outfit, then this is just perfect for you. And of course, I paired it with a nude lipstick. Before starting, if you are new here then hi I am Nita and I upload makeup, skincare and beauty related videos almost every alternative day. Please subscribe to my channel for that go to your YouTube app and press that red subscribe button. Also press that bell icon next to it so that you get notification whenever I upload a new video. So yeah without further ado let's get started. First I am taking this wet and wild retractable eyebrow pencil in medium brown and I am just uh, drawing the borders first then I will be filling it in using smaller strokes. I already shared with you my eyebrow routine if you want to check that video out i will link that video down in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out i'm just combing my brows with a spoolie so that the product is well distributed now i'm taking this maybelline fit me concealer in 20 sand sable and i'm just cleaning up the borders of my brows so that my brows look well shaped and defined I already applied that same concealer on my eyelid to prime my eyelid for eyeshadows. Now I'm just blending it out using a damp beauty sponge from L'Oreal. I'm just setting the concealer with my Coty Air Sponge Translucent Loose Powder so that the concealer does not crease. For my eyes, first I'm taking Enigma from my Profusion Cosmetics Wanderlust Palette and with this small grease brush from e.l.f. I'm just applying it on my crease. I'm just peeling out the pigmentation though this eyeshadow is really really pigmented now I'm taking state paint which is a matte brown color and I'm just diffusing the borders of Enigma so that there is a smooth gradation and this brush came with the same palette and this brush is so so good now I'm just cutting my crease with the same concealer and the brush that I'm using is from Puna Store. This is um, their lip brush I believe. And I'm going to make a half cut crease kind of look here. <laughs> I'm taking this simple uh, micella water and with a q-tip I'm just uh, cleaning up my eye uh, lids. I do not uh, really follow this step every time but this eyeshadow is so much pigmented and I decided to follow this step otherwise it may um, mess up with other colors that I'm going to use on my eyelids. I'm just applying the same concealer on my eyelid again. I'm just diffusing the borders of the concealer with my finger so that blending becomes easier later on. I'm just setting the concealer again with the same loose powder from Coty. This uh, palette does not have any black eyeshadow so I'm using a matte black eyeshadow from uh, my Maybelline the nudes palette and I'm just applying it on my outer V area and as you can see this is kind of slanted line it's not a straight line and I'm taking Enigma which is the peacock uh, blue shade I'm just applying it next to the black eyeshadow and again it is a slanted line not a straight line and I'm taking Cruise which is a shimmery peacock blue eyeshadow and I'm just placing it next to Enigma I'm taking chill which is a gorgeous shimmery gold color and I'm just applying it um, on the inner part of my eyelids and for that I'm using a flat eyeshadow brush from wet and wild I'm blending out the edges again using uh, the same matte brown eyeshadow called statement and the brush that I'm using is from Puna store
Now I'm just applying a glitter eyeliner. This is a champagne gold glitter eyeliner which I got from Amazon.in and I'm just applying it on the borders of my cut crease so that my cut crease look even prominent. I'm going to finish my uh, face for that first I'm just cleaning up the fallouts with a makeup removing cloth and I'm taking this pack pore primer and I'm just priming my face I already moisturized my face about half an hour ago and I'm just color correcting a bit for that I'm using this illegal orange color corrector and I'm just applying it underneath my eyes and on my mouth and wherever I have pigmentation and acne spots I'm just blending it out using my finger if I blend out with my finger it becomes a shade lighter which is a perfect color correcting shade for my skin tone for my foundation I'm using this illegal pro coverage illuminating foundation and I'm just buffing it in using the same damp beauty sponge from L'Oreal For highlighting and concealing, I'm using the same uh, Fit Me Concealer and I'm just applying it underneath my eyes in a bigger triangular shape on the center of my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, cupid bow, chin, the sides of my mouth and just under where I'm going to place my contour next. And I'm just blending everything out again using the same damp beauty sponge from L'Oreal. This sponge is again so good. I'm taking the same Cotier Aspen Loose Powder again and with the same damp sponge I'm just setting my under, eye, under eyes and my smile lines. To set my entire face and neck I'm using this Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder in Transparent. And I'm just applying a lot of loose powder under my eyes. It will prevent the concealer from creasing. Also, if I get any fallouts due to the eyeshadows, I can dust it up later without spoiling my base. Now, for my eyes, first I'm applying this Jordana Easy Liner in Blue Divine on my waterline. Now, taking Enigma, I'm just smudging out my lower lash line, and as you can see, I'm not dragging the color all the way in. I'm just dragging it halfway through my lower lash line. And on the inner part, I'm applying the same gold color called chill. I'm taking this Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in Golden Lights and I'm just highlighting my brow bones and my inner corners. I'm just coating my top and bottom lashes with this Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara. I'm going to use falsies off camera for that I'm using this Ardell 3D Fox Mink Lashes in 854 and here is the final eye look. I truly love the way how it turned out. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Now I'm going to finish my face. For that I'm taking this shade from my NYX contour palette. And I'm just contouring the parameters of my face. For that I'm using this contouring brush from Wet n Wild. And you know that really right. Like the hollows of my cheeks, my forehead, jawline and my nose. For my blush, I'm going with this Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Mellow Wine and I'm using this Wet n Wild Blush brush for applying that. With this fan brush from Puna Store, I'm just hitting the high points of my face and I'm using the same Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter. I'm taking this Maybelline Master uh, Studio makeup setting spray and I'm just setting my entire makeup for, for my lips first I'm lining my lips with this wet and wild perfect bow gel lip liner in the shade lay down the mauve for my lipstick today I'm using this flower beauty cream lipstick in the shade pink dusk this is a stunning nude lipstick and I love the formula of these lipsticks these are so comfortable and yet long wearing and here is the final look 
i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed making it for you if you did then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel also please share this video with your friends and family and let them know about my channel and if you are not following me on facebook instagram and twitter please do follow me there all the links will be given in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out so see you soon in my next one till then bye and take care